Welcome to Organic Chemistry 110L. This is experiment five, synthesis and bromination of phenacetin, a substitution puzzle. This week, we're going to be making phenacetin from acetaminophen via a Williamson ether synthesis using ethyl iodide, potassium carbonate, and acetonitrile. Hey, Jared. Hey, how's it going, Daniel? Pretty good. So I'm going to be showing the setup for the week one, the Williamson ether synthesis. So I have all of my solids here weighed out. So I have 360 milligrams of the acetaminophen. And I have 560 milligrams of the K-card. And six mils of acetonitrile. And then I'm also going to add in 0.56 mils of ethyl iodide. That in. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach the condenser to that. And I already started warming the hot plate here. And we're not going to use a sand bath. We don't have to heat this up this hot to get it to get to reflux. So all we've done here is we're just going to set the round bottom right on the stir plate. Just so it's making contact. And, and we get that stirring. All right, and then this is gonna go for an hour. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, make sure it comes up to reflux. Okay, so it looks like we've uh, reacted um, our acetaminophen for an hour reflux and allowed it to cool. Uh, what is the next step that we're at, Daniel? So we have our product here, and I'm gonna now do our aqueous extraction. So I'm gonna deviate a little bit. We're not gonna use the small test tube because it doesn't really look good on camera. So we're gonna use the step funnel. So I have the product, I'm gonna add that to the step funnel our crude mixture here. I'm also going to take that the round bottom and just wash with a couple more mils. Wash with a couple mils of BME. Now we're going to add that. And we can set that aside. And now to this, I am going to add some water. And then we're going to add just a little bit more uh, BME for the extraction. So five mils of BME. Take that, invert it. There's an ether, so I like to vent right away on that first one. separate. As you can see, it's starting to separate here. Turn the separate out. It should get nice and clear. You can see our aqueous layer on bottom and our organic layer on top there. And once that emulsion is nice and kind of separated out, we can go ahead and decant off our water. So I'm going to go ahead and collect 
the water here. Water there. I'm going to collect the organic. Now I want to extract again from my water. I'm going to add the water back to the step funnel. I'm going to use another five mils of VME. and do our extraction again. I'll let these layers go ahead and separate out. The layers have separated, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the aqueous layer here. I'm going to set that aside. We don't want to throw it away just yet. Now we'll go ahead and combine this organic layer with our other one. Okay, so now we have our organic. I'm gonna put it back in and we're now gonna wash the organic layer with our 5% sodium hydroxide. So we're gonna do two times that of five mils. So I have five mils here. And do what we did again. And you can see the layers separating pretty quickly here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get rid of that aqueous layer. And we're going to add yet another five mil of our sodium hydroxide solution. Go ahead and wash that. We'll let that separate out. And we'll remove the aqueous layer. And we're going to do one more wash. We have a brine solution here. So different than last time. This is actually saturated sodium chloride and water. Let's 
So I have five mil of our brine. And we'll add that. First cut funnel. I'll we'll go ahead and invert that a couple times. You see those so that layers separate real fast. I don't know if you can even really see it. You can barely see it on the camera. Now we're going to go ahead and get rid of that aqueous layer. And we're going to collect our organic layer. And then to this, we're going to now dry with some mag sulfate. So I'm going to keep adding some until I see it kind of free flowing. So we're good there. And then we're going to go ahead and filter this. So I'm going to hop over to the other camera. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like we're out of the hood and now we're on the bench. Yep, so I have my uh, organic layer that I've now dried with mag sulfate and sitting here for a couple minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and filter it. So I just have my funnel with a little plug of cotton in there. And we'll go ahead and filter that through. And this round bottom has been pre-weighed as well. So we'll make sure to post all those weights up on Canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, the roadmap set up. And we'll go ahead and drive this down and get a yield. Awesome. Thank you so much, Daniel.